Today I want to discuss a case of a man who cured his heart palpitations that he had for years by taking just one supplement that you can get for under $10 at any supermarket. Let's go over the case together, analyze what happened, talk about what exactly this miracle supplement is, and also discuss how you can reduce or even get entirely rid of heart palpitations naturally. Everything is based on a Reddit post called, I had heart palpitations for the last three to four years. Doctors told me they were normal and nothing to worry about, so I just got used to them. Well, I just got rid of them in about 20 minutes after taking one supplement. Magnesium. Before we get to the actual post, let's first discuss this title, because it already tells so much. This guy, and I'm just going to assume he's a guy based on how the post is written, had what a lot of people have. Heart palpitations that couldn't really be tied to any specific illness or disease. So he did the right thing and got everything checked out by a doctor. And please also do this if you suffer from heart palpitations. This video is not medical advice, it's just for educational purposes. Now in his case, the problem was that they didn't find anything. They didn't find a heart disease or any illnesses that could trigger the heart palpitations. So he just went on with his life and got used to them. This is also very common. A lot of people have seemingly unexplainable heart palpitations or heart arrhythmia. So when your heart beats too quickly, too slowly, or in an irregular pattern. Before I got them myself in my late 20s, I always thought that heart palpitations are an old people's problem. So when I got them, it was quite a shock for me because I thought something was definitely wrong with my heart and I was going to have a heart attack next. But again, they can be very common among all ages and also among men and women. With that said, the post starts by him writing, Everyone here recommended magnesium for one reason or another. I was taking it because I wanted something natural to help me relax and I heard it was supposed to be relaxing. I'm generally not a big fan of just blindly supplementing something that was recommended to you online, especially from an anonymous forum like Reddit. I usually recommend people get their nutrient levels tested before they start their supplement regimen, but in this case, I guess it worked out for him. This also has to do with the fact that nowadays almost everyone is deficient in magnesium, which has to do with food processing and also the constant stress we're under. He says that he was looking for something relaxing, and this is really the perfect way to describe magnesium. I explain how it works in more detail in my video on how to take magnesium correctly, but in his case, it really comes down to magnesium's ability to calm your muscles, brain, and nervous system. One of the ways it does this is by acting as a natural calcium blocker. When calcium rushes into a muscle cell, it tends to contract it. And magnesium can push that calcium back out of the cell to help it relax again. Magnesium can also be seen as a natural beta blocker because it somewhat inhibits the action of adrenaline in your nervous system and brain. A lot of people get into kind of a stress spiral where they get stressed, lose magnesium, and then because they can't properly relax afterwards, they get stressed out even more, losing even more magnesium, which further and further increases the problem. This is a huge problem nowadays and can lead to things like sympathetic dominance, where your nervous system is constantly stuck in fight or flight. Like I said before, even though a lot of people are magnesium deficient, many of them aren't aware of it. More and more people learn about magnesium deficiency, but it still kind of flies under the radar of the general public. The post then continues, I took 325 milligrams of magnesium citrate in a drink powder form. About 20 to 30 minutes after sipping on this, I realized that my heart palpitations had stopped. I've been experiencing them for years. Okay, so 325 milligrams is a moderate dose. It's not very high, but it's not very low either. And the ideal magnesium dose is very individual. I know online a lot of people make outrageous claims and tell you you have to take X milligrams per day, otherwise you will die. But that's really not true. It's impossible to say how much magnesium someone needs without testing them and also without some trial and error because everyone reacts differently to magnesium. Most people will fall into a range where they should take between 200 to 500 milligrams per day. And I also recommend that you split this up into several doses because it's easier on your GI tract. Too much magnesium at once can lead to diarrhea, for example. Also keep in mind that you never just want to bring up magnesium by itself. You also want to look at other nutrients that magnesium can either bring up with it or bring down and work against. 
That's the idea of mineral balancing, and it is critical for such a case where heart palpitations are involved. More on that in a second. He ends the post by writing, They were just a background noise at this point, but now they're completely gone. Anyone else have this experience with magnesium? Was it just deficient for so long? And he also adds, I also just had the best poop of my life. Okay, so what exactly is going on here? How is it possible that a simple supermarket supplement that really anyone can buy for less than $10 can cure his heart palpitations? Now, assuming that you aren't under acute stress or have an adrenaline surge, heart palpitations are usually a sign of an electrolyte imbalance. What electrolytes do is they control muscle function, which means when the heart, which is a muscle, beats regularly, the substances that control it are off balance. The four most important electrolytes here are calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. Calcium and sodium sit mostly outside of the cell, and magnesium and potassium sit mostly inside the cell. That's the way it's supposed to work when you're completely healthy. These four electrolytes balance each other and they work synergistically. Magnesium balances calcium and potassium balances sodium. Now, like I said before, unhealthy diets full of processed foods or chronic stress can throw this balance off. And that's probably what was going on here. When you're under constant stress, you lose a lot of magnesium, which means potentially a lot of calcium can rush into the muscle cell. This also applies to the heart. When you don't replenish your magnesium stores after a stressful situation, there is not enough of it to push the calcium out of the cell again. A chronic calcium overload in a muscle can lead to stiffness, twitching, or palpitations. The magnesium supplement basically brought the calcium-magnesium ratio back into balance. At least temporarily, because you're not going to fix an electrolyte imbalance in 20 minutes by taking a supplement once. This stuff unfortunately takes time, sometimes months or even longer. Such nutrient imbalances can get really complex, which again is why you should never look at them in isolation. Depending on your electrolyte levels, taking magnesium can even backfire on you. For example, in my case, they would actually cause heart palpitations and not cure them. I have a video on this if this has happened to you as well. That's why nutrient testing is so important and why you always need a customized diet plan and a supplement regimen. I explain how to go through the process in my other videos, so please check them out if you yourself are having problems with your nutrient levels or think you might have a deficiency. I hope you like this video and I see you in the next one.